Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Richard here. Thought I'd go over a quick video on uh, things to look for when buying a one-fifth scale. As you can see here, I bought the 5B a while ago, and uh, it's been a really, really, really fun vehicle. As I'm sure you know if you've been researching, there's a lot of modifications for this buggy. Oh man. As I'll quick give you a quick run over. There's, as you can see, I've done way too much with it, but I'll uh, tell you all the things that if I did it again, I would uh, change. So, first of all, some things to look forward, well, look forward to, I guess, is of course a lot of fun other than Nitro. Nitro, I never got into it. Yes, it's uh, it can be a learning experience with all the tuning, but tuning every time you go out or anything like that can get to be such a headache. So that's why I majorly switched over to gas, as I'm sure a lot of people that are getting into these gas RCs have at least some RC experience. Um, so a couple things to look at maybe when you're uh, purchasing your first one fifth scale is go online, Google it, do a lot of research, get on YouTube, do even more research. The reason why? is there's so many vehicles out there which are you know knockoffs of others which I'm not banging on the knockoffs it's just you want to be careful about the quality of the product you're getting yes you might pay an extra twelve hundred dollars cheaper but if they're making it with really crappy material you're gonna break parts fast especially with a vehicle that weighs as much as these do so um, another, you know, a couple other things. One, see what kind of upgrades you get with it. You know, are you looking for a four-wheel drive? Are you looking for a two-wheel drive? Um, secondly, another thing I'd go for is make sure you're checking to see what kind of, uh, or the bodies, how easy they break. Because that's one thing that got me to go with the 5B. If you look at the, we'll say, the, it came out afterwards, but the 5T. I was worried for my friends because I was like, dude, you guys are going to be breaking bodies like crazy, especially if you go off a jump wrong. And, uh, you know, so we did a lot of research with them and seeing ways of reinforcing the bodies. And, of course, there are some, uh, there's some really nice ones out there. I know when I was on the 5B forum there, there was a guy that was making these ones that we called uh, Tupperware bodies pretty much because they were made out of the same stuff as Rubbermaid. So the other things are, of course, oh, and if you are getting just into it, <coughs> make sure you check um, to see what receiver and transmitter combo comes with it. A lot of them these days come with um, uh, 2.4, as it's rare to even hear of FM anymore coming with vehicles, especially with something like this. Um, so that pretty much goes over the pre-buying, I guess is just make sure you're doing your research, find out the problems with each one and from there just see if you're willing to put in the money that is to you know help correct the problems it comes with. So just kinda go over some upgrades that I would suggest. One is of course if your vehicle has them some limiting straps for the shocks are always nice helps them last a lot longer, less travel so it's not sinking as far, helps with uh, landings for sure so your shocks when you go off a nice jump aren't going and fully extending that way it doesn't, it leaves less chance for error. Another thing is of course is so you just bought it and you're like hey I want a little bit more speed out of my stock engine uh, another thing you could start looking at of course is a better muffler system or well exhaust if I were you this is one of the things where if you're buying a new engine if you're putting out the money for a really nice engine you better be willing to put out the nice money for a muffler because if you aren't uh, you aren't gonna get the power that you're seeing all these guys in the videos I've seen it lots and I've actually had a lot of questions on YouTube just asking me why uh, why isn't my engine going really fast and yet I've got a 30.5 I say one check your gearing because gearing is another big thing if you're not geared right you're not gonna get you're either gonna get too much torque or not enough RPM that kind of thing 
Uh, so, yes, once again, um, another thing that I say to all guys you run uh, one-fifth scale, make sure you have some sort of kill switch. What I mean by that is Killer B makes a kill switch for this one. I don't know if I can show it to you. It's actually in my box here, and I have my LED right in there. What it is, is it'll actually use the engine kill switch, but it's a little chip that uh, if you lose signal, instead of throwing your RC just into a fail-safe mode, or if your battery dies, instead of your RC just charging down the street, it'll actually shut down your engine, thanks to these ones actually having a quick kill switch button, unlike your nitros. Um, Next thing you want to maybe take a look at is some reinforcement. As you can see, I way overdid it. I put with these arms, I should have just stuck with the knuckles. I wish I would have done RPM arms, but right now it's kind of is what it is. Um, second thing is some shock tower bracing. The biggest thing is, is when upgrading, make sure you're leaving brake points. If you see here, I left some flex points in the front, so that way if I do have a front end collision, I do still have flex points because something's got to give. You're either going to bend plastic or you're going to put aluminum there and it's going to be a permanent bend. So make sure you're checking that out. You also got to watch your weight ratio because otherwise you're going to start losing speed. As you can see with some of mine, I do lose speed, but then again, I never roll the thing. So, um, Second thing is, of course, uh, as you can see, I've upgraded the clutch system. That was the, a huge upgrade when I bought a 5B, just because of the fact that uh, when it comes to um, the clutch system on the stock one, there well, one, there was mesh problems. Two, I had a problem where I kept shearing the uh, pin that went from your pinion to your clutch. And when you start shredding that screw, it gets annoying and trying to get it out, especially if all the screw isn't out in the first place. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see here. As you can see, I put some sh um, shock socks on here. They're actually just made out of inner tube. They work great just for keeping the dirt out. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so yeah, the major thing, once again, is just a kill switch because there's nothing worse than having a Baja go to control or a one-fifth scale go to control and kill the neighbor's cat or dog. <laughs> Um, what, um, as you can see back here, what I did do also is I did an engine upgrade. I put a 27.2 in here. At the time, I wanted it for the RPM because I believe it or not, this thing actually used to be on a diet. <laughs> now it's just a big fat cash cow of aluminum. Um, so yeah, I put a 27.2 race ported motor from Anil Brothers in here at the time, and I love that engine. It's uh, the four boat. Sonoa. That's the other thing is when you're upgrading a lot of your uh, RCs that come out these days come with a two bolt Chung Yang. Um, you might want to maybe look at Sonoas. I like them a lot better because they're four bolt. It's not a big rush into them. I think they even have a 30.5 now. I haven't been keeping a lot of uh, interest and stuff. I've just been so busy with my car now and uh, with work but yeah that is about it for the engine. Uh, is I'm sure if you go on enough forums, there's enough uh, topics open on the differences between 27.2 and 30.5s. I know that 30.5s have been coming a lot more popular now that they have a or now that they have them for the full four bolt Sonoas. Um, yeah, that's the uh, just the major things you want to look for when you're upgrading is parts that you think would definitely like knuckles, uh, dog bones, arms I'd still try and keep. If they make RPM arms for your buggy, I'd pretty much 100% solid go with them. RPM has always been great with me, When I, even when I had my Jado. If you ever snapped an arm, it was lifetime warranty. Send them back to us. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's the other thing. If you, I can't pull it out here, but uh, ah, let's pop off one of these windows. Give me one sec here.
All right. The other thing you want to do research on is how good your filtration system is that's going into your engine. As you can see here, try and peel some back. I got... I had a... I instantly got a newer filtration system after doing research. I found out this one was the better one. I also put over some outerwares, which has uh, saved my butt a lot, especially if you're doing a lot of dirt and sand runs, just because, well, let's face it, so the stock filtration system sometimes won't keep up. And uh, it's always nice to make sure that's beefed up because you do not want anything getting inside your engine. It gets inside your engine and you're kind of SOL. Uh, other things, of course, are maybe check out a uh, stronger steering servo and a stronger throttle servo. But throttle is not, you know, as long as you've got something with fast response, you're good. And for steering, make sure you do your research once again. Who knows, your stock one might be fine. Um, yeah, it's just majorly. Do your research with every upgrade and see the pros and cons because just because it's number one on the website, give it a couple weeks, wait for people to review them on the forums. That's the number one thing I'd suggest to get on a good forum. That way you can bounce ideas off of guys say, hey, I'm thinking about picking this up. Oh, well, I tried it and this is what you know happened. Yes, it was a good mod. No, I stripped it kind of thing and find out if the screws are good. I mean, a lot of these things come with stainless steel screws. Oh, and oh, they drive me nuts. I'd rather have, you know, your hardened steel black screws over a silver screw any day. So, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I mean, as you can see, I've had, I was on the forum for a while, and I left the forum, but this is what I've got going on. Have a great one, guys. Thanks again. Rich out.